Okay, hello, fifth year, how are you? Okay, so bye-bye unit three, hello unit four. Today is Thursday, the 23rd of April. It's sunny and hot and we are going to work in class with the pages 38, 39, 40 and 41 and homework in the exam Miser, 24, 25 and 26. Uh, you were supposed to do 27 but when we come back we are going to organize like this or I will uh, pass you all the listening from the activity book, yeah? But leave it up to now, yes? Okay, 24, 25 and 26 and then we are going to organize, organize how I'm going to pass, yes? All the listening from the activity book, okay? Well, uh, do you have a sense of adventure? Yes? Yes? No? Uh, I want you to uh, think about it, yes? Um, do you have a sense of adventure? What happens when you go on holiday? I have to change it again. Yes, okay, and I want you to have a look at the pictures and describe the pictures at home. Yes, remember in the middle, on the right, on the left, at the top, at the bottom. Yes, okay. Can you see him? I want you to look at him, yes? And can you describe the picture, yes? Okay, where is he? What can you see in the background, in the foreground, on the right, on his left, yes? Okay, what's he doing there? Yes, okay. Um, do you think he has a sense of adventure? Yes, okay. Uh, what is he wearing? Where is he sitting? What does he have on his lap? Okay, a laptop, well done. And I want you to write as many words as you think about this picture. For example, the C, laptop. No, this is the lap. Okay, a chair. Okay, uh, a board, a swimming board. Yes. No, estas son las longboard, eh? Después tenés las bodyboard. Yes, okay? Y bueno, cada uno sabrá, yes? You know, if you have ever practiced board uh, surfing, yes, you know all the kind of boards that uh, there are, yes, in the market. You got to see the sun, yes? Do you think he has a sense, a sense of adventure? Yes, do you think, aha, uh -huh, earphone? Earphone. Uh, he's wearing a t-shirt, a shirt, yes, trousers. Uh, he's, is he barefoot? What is barefoot? Descalzo, muy bien, all right. And I want you to write, apart from nouns, I want you to write how huh, adjectives, yes, adjectives that you think when you see this picture. Relaxing, yes, relaxing. <laughs> what else? Yes, okay. Adventures, if you see the, the boat, yes, okay, relaxing, what else, what other adjectives, okay, yes, okay, think about the weather, it's sunny, yes, it's entertaining, I want you to write all the adjectives, yes, okay, um, how do you think? He feels in that in that picture, yes. And uh, if you like, if you would like to be there, yes or no, and why, yes, okay. I want you to put this there, okay. So, uh, is it clear? So, whenever you have an activity, a picture, I want you to put different words to this picture, okay. Well, what's that? Have you ever been? 
on a cruise? Yes? Yes, no, why? Yes, okay. How do you think it would be to be on a cruise? Yes? <coughs> Sorry. Could you feel that tenés que toser así en realidad, eh? Yeah? With the elbow. Yes? Cough in a proper way. Yes? Okay? Good. Well, so have you ever been uh, on a cruise? Yes? Could you think, uh, do you think it would like? You would like to be there? Do you think you would like to be there? Do you think you get, you will get bored there? Yes? What things can you do on a cruise? Yes? Uh, do you think you will entertain yourself? Yes. Yes, because there is a shopping there. What else? A park. Yes. Like a water park. Yes. What else? Uh, different kind of shows. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, shows. Shows. Okay, what else? Uh, shopping. Spa. Yes, of course. I like it. Um, water parks. And then I want you to take more arrows. I, I want you to put different, uh, yes, adjectives. Again, entertaining, relaxing. Uh, what else? How do, would you feel there? Yes? Shows, different attractions, okay? Many adjectives, all the adjectives you want. Yes? Okay? Would you like to be there? What things would you do there? Yes? Okay? Good. Have you ever done uh, a checking list for holidays? Have you, do you uh, write lists? Yes or no? Why? Is it necessary? Is it useful to write lists? Yes, checking lists, okay? Yes, I want you to think about many, as many adjectives as you want, yes, okay? Uh, lonely, yes, if you are in a, on a cruise, as regard the other picture, lonely, uh, stressed, yes, I don't know, stress, stressing, yes, okay, dangerous, yes, what do you think about that picture? Uh, uh, if you are talking, if you are talking about, if you are talking about holidays, do you like uh, going on holidays alone, with your family, with friends, think about it, yes? Which one do you prefer and why? Yes, and I want you to tell me the advantages and disadvantages of traveling with friends, yes? And uh, traveling alone, yes, okay? So, do you like independent holidays, yes? Okay, so I want you to think about this. What, what is its advantages? Or do you find all adva advantages when traveling with friends? No, I don't find all advantages. Because suppose you rent, a, you rent a, an apartment, yes? Uh, what about the cleaning? Yes, okay. Or would you pay somebody for doing the cleaning, yes? For organizing the cleaning, yes? But suppose you don't have enough money and you have to organize, all this group must organize to do the cleaning, uh, the food, the cooking. Yes, how have you ever been in this situation that you have to organize the thing? Uh, what about, did you discuss, did you argue with the group? Yes, uh, how do you deal with this situation? So I want you to think about this, yes? Um, what do you prefer an independent holiday or a package holiday? Yes, remember in fourth year uh, the kind of holidays. Yes, okay. Well, uh, yes. Well, we have gone through all the well. And about, think about the list. Your check checking list. Yes, holiday checklist. Yes, okay. Well. So I want you to go very quickly to page 38, 39, 40 and 41, yes, and put the date there, yes. Remember when I introduced 
the topic and the pictures. Yes, the topics and the pictures. I want you to talk at home, not just click, click, click. Yes, okay? I want you to talk about, describe the picture and do like this, a kind of brainstorming that with the advantages, disadvantages, uh, different uh, nouns, the words you will need, uh, the adjectives you will need, okay? So I want you to go very quickly to exercise word and, and one, one, and what kind of, uh, what can go wrong on a holiday? This is a good, a very, very, very good question. What can go wrong in a holiday? Yes, travel arrangement, luggage, weather, health, accommodation, accidents, crime. So we have already talked about, you remember last year, when we talked about uh, how long does it take uh, does it take you to uh, put e to put everything in your luggage you know, to pack? Does it take a long time? Yes, yes or no? Why? Do you remember last year? Okay, I want you to think about this again. Yes, because this is a very uh, interesting topic when to when, uh, topic when talking about holidays. So I want you to think about this. Does it take a long time? A short time? How long does uh, how long does it take you to uh, pack it uh, to um, pack your things? And I want you to think about it. What things do you pack? Yes. Okay. What things? Uh, what things you don't have to forget? Yes. Money. Yes. Okay. What else? Uh, the passport. The ID. What else? Yes. What else? What are the important things there? So yes. Uh, imagine. Yes. And think about that, okay? Um, the arrangement. Are you, you, well, you know, you will say, okay, my parents do this teacher, but what? Think about your parents. Uh, do they um, prepare everything before, many days before? Yes, what arrangement? Uh, yes, do they do? Do they um, book the hotel before, many days before, in advance? Yes, uh, the restaurants, uh, the hotel, yes, or you go and you see everything there because you think it's cheaper. Which is cheaper? Yes, to uh, book everything in advance or to arrive there and start looking for hotels, um, hostels, okay? So, I want you to go, well, this part is for you to talk about this. Do you, uh, do you uh, think... Um, do you see before uh, if the place where you are going to visit uh, has a lot of crime? Yes, big pockets. Yes. Okay. Um, what about health? Do you have a uh, do you have a something that you pay a health um, insurance? Yes, for example. Yes. Okay. Think about this. Yes. Think about this. Okay. Uh, what about the weather? Yes, if you are going to a place where it's rainy, for example, London in winter, it's rainy and very cold, what places do you choose? Yes, do you generally choose? Okay. Um, well, what about accidents? Yes, okay. All the arrangement. I want you to go to exercise two and do exercise two and three very quickly. Exercise four, two, yes, six. And seven, I want you to put talking. Do you agree with the same in activity? It's talking, yes, okay? I want you to do exercise two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And I want you to highlight all the words that are highlighted in the text. Let's go there. They are underlined. Looking forward, set off on, turn into, get away, work out, and got, got over, yes, okay? Good, do it. Yes, and um, we're going to check. Are you ready?
okay? Yes? Good. Okay? Number two. Okay? One. Yes? Uh, it says the article about a holiday that went wrong. What is the best definition of a close, close shave? One, two or three? It's one. A close shave is a situation where you just escape some kind of some kind of accident. Yes, you just escape some kind of accident. Number three. Yes, okay. Remember to pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers, okay? Well, 1A, 2C, 3B, 4B, 5C and 6A. I will always say this to you, yes, because it's a routine. Yes, okay, don't laugh at the teacher. Yes, 1A, 2C, 3B, 4B, 5C and 6C. Okay, well, all right, uh, there we go, number four. Could you like to go, this is talking to, could you like to go to uh, go on an adventure holiday where there are some risks involved? Yes, no, why? I wouldn't like to go, yes. I, I, I wouldn't like to take risks, yes, uh, because I don't know, maybe you, yes, because you are, uh, because of your, you are young, because of your, of your age, when you are young, sometimes you take some risks. I have taken risks on a holiday too, but not now, yes, because I have two daughters, I have to take care of my daughters, yes, I have to give them security all the time. Yes, so now I want to choose uh, a, a kind of holiday where uh, I could um, put in risk my daughters, my family, okay? But in your case, could you? I have, yes, then I will tell you. Okay, I want to uh, highlight the phrasal verbs and whenever we have a phrasal verb, you know, uh, you need a post-it, or a piece of paper and I want you to write set off blah 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 okay and stick it uh, in your notebook okay and put unit 4 all right yes teacher all right there we go exercise 5 1 D to set off a journey yes it's start a journey yes set off uh, you can start and set off an adventure Yes, okay, good. One uh, D, okay, one D. Two, turn into. A, become, okay. Um, this is Cinderella. Yes, that the, um, the famous story, uh, the classic, yes, where the pumpkin becomes into, um, turns into, um, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to say that, carruaje, yes, I will look it for this word very quickly, yes, but it turns into, become, convertirse en, yes, alright, all right, maybe you know the word they are, yes, but courage, I was right, yes, I was right, I remember, yeah, but I was checking, yes, uh, it turns into a carriage, hello, tengo visitantes en la clase, okay, number three, get away, because I'm recording in the morning for you to have your classes on time, yes, okay, so I'm working in the morning, yes, so I have visitors, my daughters, yes, okay, well, um, Three, are you there? Get away, get away. If you try to get away, it will come after you. Get away. What's the meaning of get away? Yes, it's E, escape. Yes, escape. Yes, okay. So we have set off, start, turn into, become. Get away, escape. Look forward to, look forward to. A ver, lo saben? Yes, okay, look forward to. Yes, number four. F, be excited about a future event. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Number five. C, 
work out, C, calculate, yes, okay, work out where the group was, uh -huh. um, well, okay, uh, get over, get over, get over, what's the meaning of get over, yes, get over, B, recover, recover, yes, okay, you have to get over, yes, after the dengue, yes, okay, good, well, uh, exercise six, are you there, good, so you have to complete, I want all these phrasal verbs, all these phrasal verbs are uh, in, uh, on a sheet of paper or on a post-it, all right, so number one, remember to pause the video, do the activities and then Play it again. Number one, turn into. Number two, get over. Number three, looking forward. Number four, set off. Number five, work out. Number six, get away. One, turn into, get over, looking forward, set off, work out, and get away. Yes, okay, that's all. Let's go to page 40 and 41. Remember to put the date. Yes, okay. At home, you can stick all the post-it or you can write different examples with set off, turn into, yes, Cinderella's um, pumpkin became into a carriage, a beautiful carriage. Yes, okay. I am looking forward to see, to seeing, I probably say, teacher's Ruth. Okay. Good. Um, well, I have to get over after the virus, for example, yes, okay, good. Well, uh, 40 and 41, I want you to do exercises one, exercise two, three, no, sorry, uh, one, two, four, five, and six, and seven is talking. Okay, good. From, excess, from page 41, you are going to the one that is talking, Pongale talking, two, yes. Then we are going to, to do the listening, four and five. Yes, and we are going to do six that is talking. Yes, okay, good. Can we go very quickly to exercise one? Yes, exercise one. Yes, okay, good. Good. Okay. So it says, how did she help someone on her way to college? Yes, she performed first aid. Yes, first aid, you know, on a man who had had a heart attack. Yes, okay. Good. Number two. One B. Two D. Three a, 4C. Now I want you to go to grammar reference 149. Can we go together? 149. Yes, okay, 149, unit 4. So you have the tenses you use when you are doing a narration. You know this, yes, okay, when you are writing, uh, when you are talking about narration. Yes, and narrative tenses, uh, past simple, yes, past continuous, okay, past perfect simple, okay, and it says we usually, the uses of, uh, when it is the main sequence uh, of events in a story, yes, yeah, Jennifer got up, she packed, and she set off her journey, yes. Okay, um, past continuous, yes, when you, uh, when you um, set the scene at the beginning. For example, that day I remember that the, sh the sun was shining. It was a bit windy, yes. My father was drinking a cup of tea in the living room, yes. The boy I really liked, yes, was running in the streets. I could see him through the window, and um, blah, blah, blah. He was my favorite, my next door uh, neighbor, and um, blah, blah, blah. Yes, but you set the scene at the beginning, 
using past continuous, okay? Then uh, when an activity is in progress, you already know, and, and then another activity interrupted, for example, I was calling my best friend when somebody knocked at the door, so somebody interrupted that um, activity. To talk about actions in progress at the same time, while I was listening to music, while I was giving the classes, my daughters were playing, were playing in, the, in the other classroom. Yes, and then the past perfect to show that an action happened at the time earlier. Yes, than another, yes. When we finally arrived at the station, the train had left. We arrived, but it had left. Había partido, entonces antes pasó esa actividad. To make it clear that an action is out of sequence, the past perfect makes the order of, of the actions. And remember, after and before. Before I had finished, I, I had finished lunch, yes, I called my sister. After I had finished lunch, I went to the bathroom, yes, okay? So, you know, already know these tenses, but read it, yes, and then do the activities, okay? Exercise four. Yes, okay. Two, when the man fell, remember uh, which activities happen first and second, okay? When the man fell is the second activity. I was talking to my friend, Juan. Uh, when the man fell, the first activity, activity I immediately phoned for an ambulance. The second activity. Number four, his hand was bleeding a little, activity two, because he had hit it when he fell. Activity one, obvio, porque primero cayó y después le sangraba la mano. Yes, okay, is it clear? Number five, a lot of cars were going past. Yes, so it was difficult to see, to hear the ambulance driver's instruction. So these activities are simultaneous activities. Yes, my little girl started to cry, activity two, when she saw the man on the ground, one. ¿Qué primero pasó? She saw the man and then started to cry. Yes, number five, are you there? Okay, one, have taken, two, continued, three, have lost, four, arrived, five, rushed, six, got, seven, have already started, eight, was standing, nine, had happened, ten, heard, heard, eleven, phoned, twelve, was doing, had done. <clears throat> okay? So I want you to go very quickly to exercise six. Yes, number one, after. Two, during, yes, during the class, yes, what happened? Yes, I listened to music. As soon as, afterwards, while, when, by the time, seven, by the time, yes, by the time I got to the dining room, my parents had already finished. Yes? When? Okay? So, uh, in, in exercise 7, I want you to think at home and to talk for two minutes about a journey. Yes? Tell your partner about your journey, but I want you to talk about a journey you had recently done. Yes? Okay? Talk about it. Where it was, when, what happened, why you were doing something. Yes? Okay? So, I want you to talk about this. Let's go to page 41, yes, okay, talking, what do you think people are doing on this uh, kind of holidays and which kind of holidays do you like, would you like to do, would you like to go, uh, okay, which one do you prefer and why, number uh, one, number two, the, one, the safari, the one in the mountain, yes, okay, that depend on you, depends on you. So I want you to tell why you you choose each of them. Yes, which one? Yes, and I want you to tell me 
um, advantages and disadvantages of each of them, okay? So, talk about this, yes? Number two, one, travel, two, theme park, three, beach, four, journey, four, journey, yes? Five, flight, and six, break, okay? So I want you to, um, to think about all the different types of holidays, yes? Package holiday, safari, uh, camping holiday, yes, okay? Different kind of holiday. Um, touring holiday, yes, okay? Um, which one do you choose and why? Independent holiday, all the vocabulary from last year, okay? Is it clear? So we are going to go to the listening now. Yes, wait for the teacher. Now you wait, read the things now. There we are. We are going to do uh, listen to Felipe's answer. Yes, yeah, show uh, this picture show uh, people different types of holiday. Yes, okay, but I've already talked about that. And we are going to listening to the listening. Okay. Unit four: A sense of adventure. Speaking focus. Activity four. Both pictures show people enjoying holidays in different places. They are probably a long way from their homes. And I imagine both holidays are interesting for different reasons. In the first picture, the people are on a safari in a hot country. It might be in Africa. And they're in an open-top van which lets them see the wild animals easily. In the second picture, however, the girl is in the mountains. She's camping in the snow. And I guess it's... I want you to do exercise five, yes? Okay, complete the phrases that Felipe uses to speculate about the pictures, okay? Activity four. Repeat again. Both pictures show people enjoying holidays in different places. They are probably a long way from their homes. And I imagine both holidays are interesting for different reasons. In the first picture, the people are on a safari in a hot country. It might be in Africa. And they're in an open-top van which lets them see the wild animals easily. In the second picture, however, the girl is in the mountains. She's camping in the snow, and I guess it's really cold. It looks as if she's there to do some skiing, because there are some skis in the snow. The people on safari are probably enjoying the sight of wild animals. Animals that you can't normally see, especially the animal right in front of them. And the girl who is camping might like being away from other people, on her own, with a chance to do some physical exercise. Okay, well, so number one, probably. Number two, imagine. Number three, might. Number four, guess, yeah. Number five, looks. Number six, might. So, um, these phrases are used when you are talking. It's uh, number two, they use number one. Yes, they are probably, it might be in Africa, yes. Uh, I guess, yeah, it looks very 
yes okay it might be in a place okay so i want you to think about this and practice at home we're talking about this picture uh, uh, describing picture adding more things and i want you to revise present simple present continuous past perfect okay no present simple past simple past perfect and past uh, continuous okay well uh, this is the homework pages 40 24 25 and 26 and i hope you have a very nice weekend uh, stay at home and that's all yes uh, happy weekend see you next class